Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna do something a little different. As you can see, I have a GoPro on my head and I'm gonna try to document how I shoot photos and see if this works. This location where I'm at is new to me. So I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but I'll give it a shot. The view here is amazing. Check this out. A lot of you guys probably know where this is at. There's a super popular area where everybody goes to, which is down that way. But we'll keep this hush hush. <laughs> Just like anything else, I like to do a couple of warm-up shots just to get things flowing. So I'm going to start off with my wide-angle lens, which is a 16 to 35 at f/4, and I'm shooting with my Sony A7 III. All right, let's start shooting. The conditions aren't ideal right now. There's a lot of sun out right now. There's no cloud coverage, so we're going to have super harsh shadows. But we'll work with what we got. So the way I like to shoot is always on my front fender and I turn my wheel the opposite way just so the truck looks a little more aggressive in its stance. <laughs> It'd help if I was in photo mode. And since I'm shooting with a wide angle lens, you want to get up pretty tight because when you're too far back, you'll get a lot more dirt and sky in your shot. So you want to come up closer. Here I'm trying to fine tune my camera settings. And I normally switch from landscape to portrait, depending. Don't be afraid to play with different angles. If you want to get the mountainscape, you want to shoot high. And then if you want more of a sky and you want to bring the mountains down a little lower, you shoot low. So there's more separation. And then I continued on this trail and I realized that it hasn't been maintained and it's corroded. So I got to a point where I knew it was going to be too risky, especially on the trail by myself. So I decided to turn around. This is the safest spot to turn around but there was a two foot to three foot drop of corrosion on the left side of the mountain and on the right side there was a little berm of dirt but then it would the mountain just dropped off so i had to be super cautious especially with no spotter after doing a 10 point turn <laughs> i finally got out Hey guys, so that trail didn't work out very well. So I came around the mountain to see if I'm able to find a different spot. But I came up to this. Oh, that dust particle is killing me. That's why I hate changing lenses out when I'm off-roading. So after I got over these two spots, I went ahead and changed out my lens to the 50 millimeter 1.8 and adjust my shutter speed, f-stop, and ISO to get my settings correct. I took this shot down low. came out pretty good. At It was one of my favorites. I also like variety in my shots, so I went up this little berm 
and checked out the perspective, what I like to do is I like to put things in front of the camera with my subject behind and it gives you more depth in your photo when you use this technique. Here the camera was struggling to pull focus so I used the uh, manual touch to tell the camera where to focus. Them Crocs though, ooh, fire. <laughs> So this last little hill was my final destination. It has a little flat area all the way at the top where I'm able to just kick back and relax. I've been to this spot before, so I knew where I was going. So the whole reason I'm making this series is to hopefully teach you guys a couple of tricks that I use to take my images. By no means am I a know-it-all professional. I did go to school for photography in college and by trade I am a graphic designer. I do have 15 years of professional experience but for me it's more of a hobby. I love to get out and shoot and every time I do go out it feels like I learn something new. Just looking back in the two years of having an Instagram I already see the changes in the development of my photography style. You never stop learning so Get out there and keep shooting. for the audio it's super windy out here and I don't have a dead cat on the mic oh well hope you guys can still hear me man this was definitely a mission to shoot this video having to turn around on a tight trail where one side is corroded and the other side there's a, a drop-off it's not fun <laughs> I ended up circling the whole mountain and coming in through the, the back side of the trail, which luckily had some cool obstacles. I hope you guys enjoy the content I'm producing. If so, definitely give it a thumbs up. It helps, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell so next time I upload a video, you're notified. That's it for this one, guys. Cheers. Hit that bell if you want me to hit that bell if you want to be notified the next time I'm up. Hit that bell so the next time I'm up.